In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can automate anything using DeepSeek and Make.com. So if you don't know about DeepSeek, it is blowing the AI world apart. It is an AI startup out of China that was built for under $6 million, which is madness when you look at AI models and how much it costs to build them. It is competing with industry leaders, so OpenAI, Claude, Perplexity, but it's doing it for a fraction of the cost. It's around about $15 per million input tokens on OpenAI's O1 model. It's 14 cents with DeepSeek. So it is so cheap to use from an API perspective. It's cheap to use and it's just as powerful. And that is why we are going to look at it today. How can you use make.com an automation platform in order to automate different tasks, but with the power of DeepSeek. Alrighty. So I was thinking of a practical way we can test this. And I thought of a YouTube short generator. Basically, you'll be able to send an email to a webhook, to an email address with your long form YouTube video transcript that you've done. It will use DeepSeek that will prompt to generate a short from that long video and basically send you an email with that back. So long form into short form with three easy steps in make.com and we'll show you the power of DeepSeek. Alrighty, so let's create a new scenario. And once we've got that up and running, our first step over here will be to input a webhook. What is a webhook, right? In this case, it is basically, we're gonna do a custom mail hook. So it will trigger whenever a email hits that mail hook, it basically hooks in your email that you send to it or any email that's sent to that mail hook and then processes that data. So you can send anything to that mail hook from any email in the world and I'll show you how we'll do that. So what you'll do is you'll say custom mail hook, not web hook, and you'll create a web hook. We're gonna call it something cool. So let's say deep seek mail hook. Right. All righty. So we've got our name here. Then you'll get an address. This is what you'll be sending your email to. Right. So we want to copy that to our clipboard. We're then going to start up Gmail. All righty. So we are in Gmail. You can use any email provider. Right. And what we're going to do here is we're going to send an email to that mail hook. Right. So we're going to just call it test. This is a test. And what we're going to do over here is come back to our make.com automation, click save, and we're gonna run that. And then basically, so it's waiting for an email to hit that mail hook. We're gonna send this email. That's been done. We're gonna come back here. Let's see if it lands. And there you go, it has landed. So if we look at our operation here, it was successful and we go down, the subject was test. The text is, this is a test. And that is ex exactly what we wanna do, right? So we wanna get the content, which is that text parameter and we want to then process that because that will be the content that you'll send right so let's move on to our next step and this is going to be our main the main meat on the bones of this automation and instead of using deep seek itself what we're going to do is going to use something called open router now open router you can think of as here it is you can think of it as it's a consolidated llm right so think about it you've got your make.com automation on the other side you've got or you've got open router in the middle and then on the other side you've got every single llm you can think of right so you've got open ai you've got claude perplexity deep seek and a whole bunch of others and there's a bunch that are free there's a bunch that are paid through open router you can basically add in credits if you want to right so you can add in credits maybe a ten dollar or five dollar max set of credits and then you can use you can choose any of the different LLMs that are available. And if you don't want to add credits, you can just choose from all the free available ones, which are really powerful and you can use. So instead of having to connect to, you know, OpenAI and then, you know, you want to try out, okay, I want to try out DeepSeek and then I want to try out all these different ones, connect to OpenRouter and you can change it within an instance. And I'll show you right now. So let's go and create a chat completion, right? So we're going to create that. We're going to open up our, you're going to have to just add in your connection to open router. So you'll just go to open router, create an account, and then basically um, add it from make.com. Very simple, very easy. Then you want to add your message. Before that, I just want to come down to model. So model over here, look at all the different LLMs we've got access to. All of these, they must be close to a hundred. So, and if you go and then you just search free, if it's got free in brackets after it, they're all free. So right, Open Chat 3.5, there's some Microsoft ones, there's a Google one, there's Quinn, which has just come out. I think this is the Alibaba one. 
So there's some powerful stuff. One from Meta, which is the Llama one. So these are all free. You don't need an API. You don't need to actually have credits. You need an API, but you don't need credits. So you can just select one of these and then you can use it for free, which is awesome. So let's get back to what we were talking about. Quickly jumping into Open Router here and searching for DeepSeek. There's all these different models. And the one that we can use for make.com is V3, right? So in this case, what we're going to do is we're going to come back to our automation and we're going to scroll down. We're going to search for DeepSeek and we're going to scroll down and we're going to hit V3, right? We're going to save. Perfect. Then we need to add one more component here is we want to receive an email back. So we use Gmail. You can use any email outlook, but Gmail at least works for me. I'm going to create a draft. So it sits in our drafts folder. So it's not sending you know, an email. It's basically creating an email out of that account. So create your connection to Gmail and then select a folder in our case drafts. The subject will always be in this case, YouTube shorts script. And our content over here will be in this case, our message from open router, right? Apologies, it's not the message under there because that was an error message. It will be the content message under choices, right? So we're going to con we're going to drag that across and it's our content over there. We're going to save that. All right, so we've got our automation complete and let's see how it works as a final product. So I've got this article over here, which is Microsoft announces to still deep seek R1 models for Windows 11 Copilot, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to actually copy the content over here. So copy that through, copy that. We're going to come to our email. We are going to create an email and that will be the information that we want to create a short out of. We're going to call this YouTube test, YouTube shorts test. And then for the actual email address, we're going to copy our mail hook, right? Kind of copy our mail hook and paste that there. So let us start our, which this should automatically be going, but in this case, we'll just wait for new data and we will send, we'll come back here and we will watch it work. So the web hook is going to be calculating. It's going to hook that email we've just sent and take the content, run it through DeepSeek, create a YouTube short based on our prompt, send it back to us via a draft. So you can see that was executed properly. YouTube shorts in the text, we've got our text over there and it's going through Open Router. Right, Open Router is done and our email was populated. So we should have a draft email if we come back to our drafts and we just refresh. Perfect, we've got YouTube Shorts. And if we open up that, give it a second. So we've got scripts, we've got the relatable antidote, which was selected. This does look pretty much like crap. So let us just slide it down and I will show you how it looks. So let's go to ChatGPT. Let's just say, write this out in a structured manner. Paste that and just so that we can read it better. Cool. And over here, you can see how Microsoft's DeepSeek R1 is changing AI development, introduction, the hooks, right? So these are all the different hooks we've got. We've got the bold statements. So this is how you would start off your YouTube shorts. You can start off with hard pull to swallow. US tech firms are panicking over DeepSeek R1. Here's why. Or you can maybe do the quotation or say the teaser. I just read about DeepSeek R1. That could change how we develop applications. Or, you know, the promise. It took me years to learn about AI advancements. I'll teach it to you in two minutes. And then it goes about into the details and the core details over here. So we've got MPU optimized versions, first release, local deployment, why this matters, call to action. So the call to action for a link to the newsletter, more in-depth insights about R DeepSeek R1 and then description and final notes. That's all contained within here. So obviously you can work on the structure. So in this case, for me, it was like, I'm 30. When I was younger, I wasted hours on efficient coding. Learn from my mistakes. Here's what caught my eye at Microsoft's latest AI announcements. My name is Jagger, da, 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 everything about me. And then Microsoft is bringing MPU optimized versions of DeepSeek R1 to Copilot and PCs. These models run efficiently on devices taking full advantage of MPU. And if you look at it over here, right? So this is our first hook, right? And that then, this is then the bold statement, right? Hard pull to swallow and so forth. So. All of the hooks are in here. It's just not in the most concise way, but you can use ChatGPT just to sort it, or you can actually just, you know, sort it with another automation that you can add to this one right over here. But we have the ability to take an article or a long transcript and convert it into a short based on our prompt. Like I said, 
The prompt itself will be in the link in the description. If you want to use that, you want to pick it apart and make it work for you, you can. If you just want to steal the hooks, you can. It's all free access for you. So there you go. Um, that is the video, guys. If this was helpful, please do let me know. Please like and subscribe. Over 95% of the people that watch this video are not subscribed. So it would be great if you're watching this, you're not subscribed, you got some benefit out of this. You're going to go and steal those hooks. Like and subscribe. It does amazing things for the channel. Other than that, I will see you guys on the next one. Cheers.